What's up guys? Nadia and Sands here for another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Right now I am in Kiev in the Ukraine doing a little shooting and editing for an Evil Geniuses Dota project, but that's not gonna stop me from making tutorials. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to clone ah, yourself in a video. right there. I will be the one to show you how to clone yourself no, in a video. No, no, no. I'm gonna show you how to clone yourself in a video. No, no, no. Let me be clear. I will be the Don't one to show you how to clone up. yourself in a video. Oh, okay, like real mature. Walk away. Always. It's a lot easier than you may think. All right, guys, I've got Premiere open and I've got the two clips that I'm going to use to clone myself. I have a clip here of me sitting on the couch on the left and I have a clip over here of me sitting in the couch on the right. Now, I shot these in two different takes. The most difficult part of doing the cloning effect is actually getting the take right between your two actors, which is essentially just yourself twice. So what you're going to want to do is really have the script nailed down that you know that you want to say. So then that way, when you do both takes, it just makes it tremendously easier in post-production to achieve the clone effect. So I'm going to play these two clips for you so you can see what I'm working with here. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to clone yourself in a video. No, 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 I'm going to show you how to clone yourself in a video. Ah, let me stop you right there. I will be the one to show you how to clone yourself in a video. So the two most important things that you guys need to do other than nailing your take with yourself and yourself is you need to A, keep the camera stationary and in one place. As soon as the camera moves, even a millimeter, you're gonna be screwed. So you need to keep your camera in one location. Do not stop and start recording because the camera can jiggle or whatever. Just let the take run for as long as you need to because then you can cut it later. And number two, your lighting has to stay the same. Indoors with the windows closed, with the blinds closed and controlled lighting is gonna be your best bet. As soon as you try to do this thing outside and there's shadows and like trees are moving because of the wind and like the sun, there's clouds, it, it gets really Really inconsistent and it's gonna be really difficult to make look perfect so with those two things in mind it is very very simple what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna use the middle of this couch to split my frame so I'm gonna pull this second clip of me coming in and I'm gonna start it I know where to start it so like right about so maybe like right about there and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to effects go to crop Drop a crop right on top of this top layer here. And then I'm going to go over from the left, right about there. Now you can see there's kind of, you can see the line moving a little bit there, right? So I'm gonna line it up right with the middle of the couch. You can see a nice clean line down the middle. So if I mute this clip on the bottom, I'm using the couch right there in the middle as my split frame. And then I'm gonna turn the feathering up on this to maybe 12. So it gives it a nice, clean feather here so it's actually like blurring the line in the middle of this frame just a little bit. And then when I play this, today I'm going to show you guys how to clone yourself in a video. Let me stop you right there. I will be the one to show you how to clone yourself. I'm going to show you how to clone yourself in a video. No, no, no. Let me be clear. Do I will show you how to clone yourself in a video. Okay, real mature. Walk away. All right, so there's a couple things that you guys will need to do once you make it past this part. Again, nailing the take is gonna be the most difficult part of this process. The post-production end of it is actually super simple. So this is already looking really good and really clean. So what I'm gonna do is come up here because if you actually look frame by frame, you can actually see, look at the bottom part of the couch here. Once the second frame comes in, it kind of shifts a little bit. So to avoid having that happen, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this back a little bit. I'm gonna cut this clip. I'm gonna bring this over to the front and then I'm going to right click on this, go to add frame hold, and then I'm just gonna pull this over to the side. I'm gonna unlink it and then delete the audio. So in that way, the couch is actually staying in the exact same position that it will be in once we get to the part where the clip actually starts. And that's just gonna help everything look a little bit more seamless so you don't have like a frame pop when your next clip starts. And you're gonna to wanna to do that at the end as well. After I leave frame here, I'm just gonna cut this clip, add frame hold, get rid of the audio, and then just pull this out. And that's it guys, that's really, it's so simple to do. You just have to make sure that you have a clean line somewhere in the center of your frame that your actors, which in this case is just you twice, never cross that line. If I were to take my arm and reach over to the other side of the couch, I'm gonna hit that line and my arm is gonna get cut off. So you just need to make sure that you're giving yourself clearance in the frame to be able to achieve an effect like this. Uh, you can do it another way. You don't have to use crop. I'm gonna delete the crop and just show you one more way that you can do this. Uh, you can just click on your clip. You can come down here to uh, your pen tool, your free draw Bezier tool, and you can just make a couple points here. 
Doesn't have to be crazy, it's the exact same thing. And in this case, doing it this way will allow you, if you do somehow end up crossing the frame or like you kind of bleed into the center, you can animate this mask over a little bit so that you can actually cross the center line of the frame without interrupting your footage here. But this will ultimately do the same thing. You have the same controls. Come over here and feather it. Go to feather it 12. And it's basically the same thing. So whatever you guys want to do. This way is just a little bit more complicated um, and gives you a little bit more control if you do cross frame, but the crop tool will give you the exact same effect. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do the clone effect. Pretty simple stuff. You probably didn't think it was gonna be that easy, but it actually is. Nice short and simple one today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on more things, learn how to edit stuff. I will be back in Los Angeles on May 2nd, and I will resume making as many tutorials as humanly possible. I have a lot of messages. A lot of people hit me up on social media about stuff, so I'm definitely gonna get to work as soon as I get back. All right, guys, if you haven't seen the vlog yet, the Costa Rica vlog, click right up here, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel right down there. Tell your friends, tell your friends' friends, and uh, until you click one of these things, I'm just gonna drink this monster. I don't even know if I'm clearing frame. This could be over my face right now. I have no idea. I don't have my tripod. I don't have my camera with me. I'm using my phone for this. Ah!